Here's the situation. You have first, middle, and last name in a single column. What you need is a way to split these names out into their own columns. So let's take a look at this example. I have a really short list here. This one doesn't have a middle name. This one's a middle initial. This one's a middle initial with a dot. And this one has the middle name spelled out. I'm going to start with the first name. And to do that, I'm going to use the left function. Now, the left function is going to pull out as many characters as I tell it to pull out out of this cell of interest. But I don't know how many I want to pull out because I don't know how long the name is. So I'm going to let Excel figure that out for me by using the find function. Find is going to find whatever I want it to find. It's going to find the first occurrence reading left to right. And I know there's always going to be a space after the first name, so I'm going to tell it to find a space within here. Now that's going to return a number, but it's going to include the space, and that's one too many, so I'm going to subtract one, and there we go. First name. Drag it down. Got them all correctly. Now I'm going to hop over to the last name. The last name's tricky. Essentially what I have to do here is put in a target right in front of the last name a target or a marker that's non-alphabetical, something that wouldn't be normally in the way a person spells their name. So I'm going to stick in an ASCII character right there. So I'm going to start in the middle of this formula because it's going to start to grow a little bit. But I'm going to use substitute to help me place my target in here. So the substitute is for the cell of interest. I'm going to come up here because I like using this box. The old text I'm looking for is the space, and I'm going to replace it with the ASCII character. Formula within Excel for that is CHR, and there are 255 characters, so you have to enter the number of the ASCII character, character you want it to return. I happen to know that a musical note is number 14. It doesn't really matter what you use, but I'm just going to use musical note. You can see it right there. And you can see that it put it in between Alexander and Smith. Now, I'm going to have to use the instance argument of this formula because uh, for Alexander Smith there's only one space but if there's a middle name or a middle initial there'll be two spaces and I don't want my marker to show up in both places I only want it to show up in the last occurrence or the second occurrence and that's what the instance part of it does I have to tell it which one to replace but again I don't know so I'm gonna have to let Excel figure that out by using a length formula so I'll do that up in the formula bar because it's easier to see I'm going to take the length of the target cell with the spaces, space or spaces, and I'm going to subtract the length of the target cell without the spaces by removing it with substitute. Take that out, replace it with nothing. Okay, so what this is saying is this is the target cell with the spaces. This is the target cell without the spaces. What's the difference? The difference here is only going to be a 1 or a 2, so it's going to work appropriately. So let's drag this down and see what we get. Perfect. Here we look at John. There's a space. Mark the musical note Washington. It worked. It didn't put the musical note in for both spaces. It put it only in the one that I wanted to. That's where I want my target to be. So now what I'm going to do is go after that target by using find and then I'm going to use the replace function to replace everything up to the musical note with nothing. So this is what that looks like. Replace target cell. Replace wants to know where you want to start, what position. I want to start position 1. And then I'm going to find my character within all of this. And then when I do, what do I want to replace it with? I want to replace it with nothing. So what it's going to do is it's going to go from the first spot, which is here is A. It's going to go all the way over to till it finds my target. And it's going to replace that, all of that, however long it is, with nothing. There we go. Which just leaves the last name, no matter how long the last name is. Okay, so now I'm going to come over to the middle name, and what I'm going to do here, essentially, is I'm going to subtract the first name from here, and then the last name from here, by using substitute. So I'm going to substitute target cell. What do I want to pull out? the first name, replace it with nothing. Then I'm going to put a substitute around this whole thing. 
what do I want to replace this with? The last name, which is an E10, pull that out and replace it with nothing. There we go. This person doesn't have a middle name, that's why that's blank, but let's drag it down and see if it worked. It worked. Let me show you what it did here. And that is a way to solve this need.